In the fast-paced world of professional tennis, where each match is a battleground for rising stars and seasoned champions alike, one name has been echoing through the courts with a mix of admiration and controversy. Holger Rune. Born on April 29, 2003, this Danish prodigy is not just known for his exceptional talent, but has also become the talk of the town for his polarizing on-court persona and a roller coaster ride through the tumultuous 2023 season. Today, we will be talking about Holger Rune. Holger Rune has emerged as a significant figure in the world of tennis, not only for his impressive skills, but also for the controversies and challenges that have surrounded his young career. As of my last knowledge update in January 2022, Rune's journey has been marked by notable achievements, emotional outbursts, coaching changes, and a roller coaster ride through the 2023 season. In the highly competitive world of tennis, where every match is a battleground for emerging talents and seasoned champions, Rune's name emerged prominently in 2022. His breakthrough came at the Paris Masters, where he achieved the seemingly impossible, defeating none other than Novak Djokovic in the finals. This historic victory not only established Rune as a force to be reckoned with, but also positioned him as the first man to conquer five top ten opponents in the same event, excluding the ATP finals. The tennis world was abuzz with anticipation, foreseeing Rune as a key player in the rising generation, alongside fellow young talent Carlos Alcaraz. As the tennis community eagerly awaited Rune's meteoric rise in 2023, the reality proved to be more nuanced. The season unfolded as a roller coaster ride marked by highs, lows, and a series of notable events that shaped Rune's narrative. The Open Sud de France at Monte Carlo tournaments showcased Rune's prowess, reaching the semi final and final, respectively, with victories over formidable opponents like Dominic Thiem and Daniil Medvedev. However, challenges surfaced in tournaments such as the Australian Open and Rotterdam leaving spectators questioning whether Rune was facing a rough patch or encountering tough competition. In 2022, Rune achieved a major breakthrough by defeating Novak Djokovic in the finals at the Paris Masters. This victory, which made him the first man to beat five top ten opponents in the same event, excluding the ATP finals, thrust him into the limelight and set high expectations for the following year. The anticipation was that Rune, alongside other rising stars like Carlos Alcaraz, would dominate the tennis scene in 2023. However, the reality of 2023 turned out to be more complex for Rune. Despite reaching the semi-final of the Open Sud de France and the final at Monte Carlo, where he showcased his prowess by defeating top players like Dominic Thiem and Daniil Medvedev, Rune faced setbacks in tournaments like the Australian Open and Rotterdam. Notably, his matches often went to deciding sets, making it challenging to discern whether he was experiencing a rough patch or merely facing tough competition. The clay court season marked Rune's resurgence with notable victories at Monte Carlo and the Bavarian International Tennis Championships in Munich. His prowess on clay was evident, particularly with a win against Novak Djokovic in Rome, signaling a positive trajectory for the young Danish player. However, the latter part of 2023 brought its share of challenges Rune faced early exits in tournaments like the U.S. Open, Canadian Open, and Cincinnati, raising concerns about his performance and jeopardizing his spot in the ATP Finals. In an effort to turn things around, Boris Becker joined Rune as his coach. The partnership bore fruit, as Rune secured a semi-final appearance in Basel and quarterfinals in Paris, finishing the year as the world number eight. Throughout his career, Rune had faced criticism for his emotional outburst on the court, Incidents such as using unacceptable slurs in 2021 and shouting during a changeover at the 2022 French Open have contributed to the narrative surrounding his temperament. Tennis legends Alex Correja and Tim Henman acknowledged the need for Rune to control his emotions but also provided words of encouragement, emphasizing the learning process for a young and talented player. In 2022, Rune's celebrations during the Paris Masters drew attention, with Stan Wawrinka advising him to grow up. Throughout 2023, instances of perceived unsportsmanlike conduct, including a cold handshake with Yannick Sinner, raised concerns about Rune's on-court behavior. Tennis icon John McEnroe warned Rune about developing a negative reputation, emphasizing the importance of finding balance and composure. Despite possessing impressive physical attributes, Rune has struggled with cramping, especially in crucial matches. 
He sought solutions, including crowdsourcing advice, seeing specialists, and developing a nutrition plan. The recurring nature of his physical issues has prompted questions about the mental elements affecting his performance. Rune's journey extends beyond his victories and defeats. One of the central narratives surrounding him involves his emotional displays on the court. Accusations of being a spoiled brat have followed Rune since his early years in the sport. Instances such as using unacceptable slurs in 2021 and heated exchanges during the 2022 French Open have contributed to a narrative about his temperament. Tennis legends including Alex Correja and Tim Henman have acknowledged the need for Rune to control his emotions while recognizing the learning process for a young and talented player. Another facet of Rune's game that has undergone scrutiny is his endurance and shot tolerance. Despite possessing impressive physical attributes, Rune has grappled with cramping, particularly in crucial matches. Seeking solutions, including crowdsourcing advice and consulting specialists, Rune's physical struggles have prompted questions about the mental elements affecting his performance. The recurring nature of his physical issues raises concerns about their potential impact on Rune's long-term prospects. Critics have argued that Rune lacks the right mentality to succeed, citing instances of blaming his box during matches and questionable shot selection. However, Rune has consistently expressed self-belief and determination, essential components for success in professional tennis. Voices within the tennis community, including Alex Correja and Tin Henman, have acknowledged his competitive spirit while urging him to channel it positively. The latter part of 2023 brought a series of challenges for Rune. Early exits in prominent tournaments like the US Open, Canadian Open, and Cincinnati raised concerns about his form, putting his spot in the ATP Finals at risk. In a pivotal moment, Boris Becker joined Rune as his coach, a move that proved instrumental in turning the tide. The partnership yielded positive results, with Rune securing a semi-final appearance in Basel and reaching the quarterfinals in Paris, including the year as the world number 8. Coaching changes have also played a significant role in Rune's journey. His decision to work with Patrick Moore Toglu and longtime coach Lars Christensen simultaneously led to clashes of egos and an unsettled coaching dynamic. The entry of Boris Becker into the coaching team brought stability and the recent addition of Roger Federer's longtime coach Severin Luti for the 2024 season adds further expertise to his support system. It has stabilized Rune's game and the addition of Roger Federer's longtime coach Severin Luti for the 2024 season adds further expertise to his support system. An additional hurdle for Rune has been a back injury affecting his performance and contributing to a challenging period in 2023. Despite these setbacks, Rune's undeniable talent and achievements suggest a promising future. His strong performance on clay and ongoing efforts to address his physical issues and emotional control indicate that Rune is a player with immense potential. In conclusion, Holger Rune's journey in professional tennis has been a compelling narrative of triumphs, challenges, and the quest of self-improvement. As he navigates the complexities of the sport, Rune's resilience and determination hint at a promising future, leaving the tennis world eager to witness the next chapter of his evolving career. In conclusion, Holger Rune's journey in professional tennis has been filled with highs and lows, showcasing both his remarkable talent and the challenges he faces in managing his emotions and physical well-being. As he navigates these complexities, Rune's resilience and determination to improve suggests that he could emerge as a formidable force in the tennis world in years to come. The 2023 season, with its ups and downs, serves as a learning experience for Rune, and with the right guidance and adjustments, he may well reach new heights in his career. Rune's journey has not been without its share of physical challenges. A recurring back injury, affecting his performance significantly, added another layer of complexity to his 2023 season. Rune's determination to address physical issues and enhance his overall game reflects his commitment to continuous improvement. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Your opinions matter. Let us know your thoughts on the topic discussed through our comment section.